I am here with Ter Taryn. 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 Say it again. Taryn. It's more fun to hear you say it. <laughs> <laughs> Solomon, right? Taryn Solomon. Um, from Edelman in Atlanta, but you're not from Atlanta. No, no, I'm originally from South Africa. She made me guess that earlier. Yeah. I was like, I don't know. It's not Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> We're from the South, and you said a different South. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So welcome. Big night tonight. I know. We're very excited to be Sweet. here. Very honored. Good, good, good. So tell us why you're here. So um, we've been nominated for the Gateway Gift Campaign, and um, we're thrilled to be on a you know a national scale um, and receive the recognition from PRSA, such an honorable organization. Yeah, yeah. So talk to us about what it was, what you did, and some of the things. Well, we'll talk about results in a minute, but just tell us a little bit about what it was. Um, the Gateway Gift, the Gateway Center, is a phenomenal organization. Um, it's an organization which um, focuses on homelessness, but it's not about just taking people off the street for one night and providing them with a meal. It's really about an organization that um, focuses on taking people off the street, but teaching them training, skills, building confidence, and helping them to achieve self-sustainability. So it's really about ending chronic homelessness and not just finding an immediate cure. Right. Not just getting them off the street for right. one night, but giving them the tools to be able to Exactly, exactly. Take care of themselves. And there's lots of giving back to the community. So talk about why Edelman took this on. Edelman has a really strong emphasis on global citizenship worldwide. And they really encourage each office to find an organization that they're passionate about. They encourage an organization to reach out into the community and really get their hands dirty um, with some real issues that are in the community. Um, and one of the initiatives that we focus on is kind of the Gateway Center, and we do research and we look at various issues that are in the community that affect all of us, that affect us as we're walking to and from work. We look at what affects our clients, um, and unfortunately, homelessness is one of the toughest issues that nobody wants to talk about. Right. It's not sexy, right. um, and it's something which is very real to everyone, especially in a down economy. Um, Atlanta, unfortunately, is the fourth meanest city towards homeless. housing wow. and now 75 years later it has one of the biggest homeless issues wow. so for us we saw that there was definitely a need and there was a place where we could make an impact in the community and so we try to find an organization that we could partner with in a pro bono capacity to really make this difference however we didn't want to just do the cure for the night we wanted to make sure that we took people off the streets and help them find jobs reconnect with their families via Facebook be able to gain the skills to you know find a job, build a resume, um, connect with their families, and um, you know become normal people again. So you know you bring up an interesting point in, with Facebook. And, I mean, in today's digital world, how do you do some of those things when they're homeless? So that would stand for reason that they don't have a computer or a smartphone right. or any of these things that we have. I mean, right. They don't have access to technology. With the Gateway Center, what they have that is phenomenal is through public-private partnerships um, and through contributions from the community who fund things like digital computer labs and the governmental organizations that help people figure out how to use technology. Um, certain organizations have donated computers and technology labs. And the homeless people who are part of the Gateway Center um, who move in for a sustainable period of time are given the opportunity to really go in and figure out how to use a computer again and how to type and turn it on and you know figure out and type in their brother's name and see that their brother comes up with a bunch of pictures wow. and what's remarkable is to really see the tears in their eyes wow. when they connect with people and that's for us what makes our job so worthwhile right. when right. you know that you're really changing people's lives and making them um, whole again and making them feel normal it's very fulfilling you know what I love about this is I come from the agency world as well and sometimes I feel like we're doing like we're, not, we're not doing anything we are professionals we don't do anything to change the world and this really is something that gives back and it is changing the world it is it is and you know I think that what was really strategic and um, what made this program successful was the fact that we partnered with the downtown improvement district who were, that is how the whole project started with them, um, the Gateway Gift Campaign. The Downtown Improvement District approached the Gateway Center 
and said they wanted to make a donation for $32,000. The Gateway Center came to Edelman and said we'd like to publicize this and create a single media event and in turn raise some awareness about the Gateway Center. And Edelman spoke about this, we brainstormed and we thought, okay, this is a great opportunity, but there's a much larger need. There's a need to create a far more broader campaign around homelessness and not necessarily focus on just raising awareness. So what we did through this Gateway Gift Campaign, and GIFT stands for Generating Involvement and Fundamental Transition. What we did through this campaign is we launched a 32-day campaign between Thanksgiving and Christmas where we encouraged uh, community partners, public organizations, private citizens to come forward and make a donation. And what we really did through this campaign was define what a donation was. It wasn't only a financial contribution, but it was in-kind product donations, it was, you know, volunteering your time. You know, of course we love check, but there's so much more to, to giving than just financial contributions. So. Um, that was, that was fantastic that we could get the community to engage and not just raise awareness, but really to do something about it. And I'm going to, I have the advantage of having read the description for the, the Silver Anvil entry, so I'm going to toot your horn a little bit. Going off of a $32,000 donation, how much did you guys help, help, help raise? We raised $70,000 through online and financial contributions. Um, which was fantastic. It was uh, double and uh, exceeded the previous year's donations, which we were really excited about because donations were made through Facebook, through their websites, um, you know, just drop by. I remember getting a call from the executive director and he said, Taryn, we've just received 50 pillows. I don't know where they came from, but someone just drove by and has dropped off pillows for our homeless to sleep on. And you know, to that, that was amazing because they were basic things that you're never going to go out and ask for, but it's in-kind donations, just volunteer time. So many organizations raised their hand and said, we want you know 200 of our employees to come forward and volunteer and serve food. And so that was really what it was about. It was about the community engaging.